A lot of people are being told to quarantine after returning home from holiday travel with thousands of people testing positive for coronavirus each day in Riverside County. News Channel 3's Jake and Grassi live tonight with more on how to safely and effectively isolate yourself even if you live with others. Jake. John, good evening, and the state's recommendation is to quarantine for 10 days after traveling. But with COVID cases surging, the need for self-isolation growing more important every day. Nearly 17 million people flew throughout the country for the holidays this year. Many more than that traveled in other ways. As a result, a lot of people now being advised to quarantine. Riverside County says if you've tested positive, you should stay home for at least 10 days after your last positive test. The same amount of time that's required if you traveled out of state. We were very careful traveling back. We had everything you can imagine, mask and shield and uh, all the wipes and everything. Melissa Niederman is now quarantining after returning last week to Palm Springs from a trip across the country. She and her husband have already tested negative, but they're still playing it safe and following the guidelines. You could have a negative test result and still be positive. And then also the symptoms could come way after we've gotten home. So we're still quarantining here. They don't live with any other people, but if you do, county officials advise isolating in one room and away from others in your home. We have certainly seen many times where people um, are isolated at home and have a positive COVID case and it does not spread to their family members in the same home because they have been very vigilant on these precautions. Use a separate bathroom if you can, but if that's not possible, clean the bathroom after each use. Open windows and use a fan or air conditioning in shared spaces to ensure good airflow. If you do enter a common space with others from your household, keep a mask on. There's, of course, a sense of comfort that we're all going to experience when we're with people that we love and trust. Um, and so it's just to be careful. Many in isolation now connecting virtually with friends or family. Rancho Mirage resident Steve Ross just spent his first Christmas in 72 years alone. Remaining mostly in isolation since March, he's journaled on social media every day. Now up to his pandemic post number 186. Also finding time for new or even old skills and hobbies. I played the saxophone since I was in fourth grade, and so uh, I've gone back to uh, becoming a saxophonist. And a bright spot in uh, many people's isolation. You get to spend a lot more time with your pets. This is my dog, Leo. Uh, of course, it's important to remember that this self-isolation is about keeping those closest to you safe. Reporting live tonight, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.